I'm in Chofu City in western Tokyo on Tenjin Street, which is also known as Kitaro Street because Chofu City is also known as the living city of the manga writer of a popular Japanese manga called Gegege no Kitaro. Ha 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 ha. So they have this street that's dedicated to the manga that he made. There should be a cafe around here that is themed after Gegege no Kitaro, but also there's a lot of other great foods. So we're gonna check out what they have to offer in this city. So let's go explore Chofu. Come on. This is a really great little shotengai or shopping street. There's a lot of different shops along here, and you can also find a lot of the Gegege no Kitaro characters, which are very cute. And they're really great if you are a fan, of course. <laughs> Ooh, this is a really cool, very retro toy shop. And of course, they're repping Gegege no Kitaro. They've got some Kitaro goods here, posters. And I feel like the vibe of the whole shop is kind of, kind of Kitaro-y. A little bit, a little bit dark. A little mysterious. I like it. Ooh, it looks like they have imagawa yaki, which are some traditional Japanese desserts that are kind of crispy on the outside, really soft and fluffy on the inside, and they're usually filled with red bean paste. And here they have a few different fillings, cheese and red bean paste. That sounds really good. Uguisu-an, which is some kind of like green beans that they use on the inside. It might be the only place in Tokyo that has imagawa yaki with uguisu green paste inside. Let's give that a try. Hi, Yay! So I'm gonna start with the uguisu imagawayaki. It's made out of endo mame, which supposedly are green peas. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 That's good. The dough is so good. It's tougher on the outside. The inside is really fluffy and bouncy and chewy and faintly sweet. The green paste on the inside is very sweet as well. It's similar to a red bean paste. It just tastes a little bit greener. All right, let's try our second one, the red bean paste and cream cheese. That's a good combo. You know what's so good about this is like, some people don't like red bean paste because it's so sweet and so thick. The cream cheese mellows it out. I think it really makes it so easy to, to eat. It makes it kind of almost like a cake. These were really good. I'm glad I stopped by here. Let's go look for something else to eat. I am now deeper in Chofu near the Jindaiji Temple and it is really beautiful. There, as you can see, there are so many trees. It's kind of foresty. There's like ponds. It's very peaceful and the air is so fresh. It's the perfect area to go for a walk, even a bike ride. I've been to Chofu Station area many times, but it looks completely different from this. I am here now in front of Matsuba Chaya. It's a soba restaurant, but they also have other delicious looking goodies made of buckwheat. This area around the Jindaiji Temple used to be very rich in spring water, which is said to be very ideal for making buckwheat. And apparently back in the Edo period, peasants who lived in this area used to offer buckwheat to the local temple instead of rice, which is what is traditionally done. To this day, there are a lot of soba restaurants in this area, but today let's try this one and see what kind of goodies they have. This is a beautiful restaurant. You get to sit outside. You can also sit indoors where I noticed there is a tree growing inside the restaurant and it's got um, this Shinto paper around it, which says that it's protected as a Shinto god so they don't cut it down and i think that's really really beautiful since we're at a soba restaurant i think we must try the soba this one is um, only available in the summertime it's called mizore ume it looks like a really nice refreshing summer soba so i'm gonna get one of these and soba fried mochi looks really good normally it's made out of just rice but it also has buckwheat in it they also have an age soba manju which is a deep fried kind of steamed cake with red bean paste inside let's give it a try this all looks really good and it smells really good too. Let's start with the deep fried manju. We're gonna eat it with wasabi joyu, which means soy sauce and wasabi mixed together. Mmm. Oh. 
Oh, it's quite hot. Mmm, that's kind of a new flavor and texture for me, actually. So it tastes a little bit like um, isobe age, which is like a, a style of mochi that has soy sauce painted on top, wrapped with nori seaweed. But the inside is less bouncy, and you get a little bit more of this grainy buckwheat flavor. Next, let's try my summer soba. It's a cold soba. We have our soba tsuyu. The soba noodles are very nice. Really thin, but really chewy because I'm pretty sure they make them right here in house in that little shop behind us. Now I'm gonna try it with the ume. Here we go. Oh, this is really good. It is really very sour. Um, you get a little bit of this like citrusy aftertaste from the plums, but it's extremely sour. It makes it really refreshing. I think it's a great summer soba dish. This soy sauce? Oh, it's in my hair, that's why. I was like, where are the droplets? Is it raining soy sauce? <laughs> it's in my hair. No. All right, it's time for the deep fried soba manju. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm, that is crispy. That is really good. And you know what? The inside is really cake-like. And it seems to be made out of buckwheat, of course. So it gives it a little bit of more of an earthy type of flavor. But honestly, it just tastes like a fluffy, chewy cake with a wonderfully crisp tempura batter on the outside. Such a beautiful neighborhood. But now I'm thinking of getting a little dessert and I have a very special last stop. Let's go check it out. Here I am now at the Kitaro Chaya. This is the official chaya or tea house for Gegege no Kitaro. And as you can see, it's a beautiful retro building. It's actually built in a traditional Japanese house. And as you can see, we have characters from the manga that are beloved in this area, of course. In this chaya, you can experience the world of Gegege no Kitaro and yokai, which are Japanese monsters or spirits from Japanese folklore. So let's go inside and enter the world of Gegege no Kitaro. So these are all the mangas by Shigeru Mizuki. He's the author of Gegege no Kitaro. Since Shigeru Mizuki lived in Chofu City, he wrote most of his mangas here. So manga fans, you're gonna enjoy this place. And here's my table because this is a chaya, of course, so we can order food and drinks here. And I love how retro everything looks, like the wooden sliding doors that open directly into the yard where you can actually see yokai outside as well. And check out the menu. It looks like a manga. There's a lot of um, character themed desserts and drinks here. And I think I'm gonna try this Nekomusume Ichigo milk float. Also this latte, I'm just so curious about it and I think I'm enough to get it as well. It has kitaro on the front. And for dessert, I'm thinking of getting this chaya sundae. But it's very cute because it features itan momen, which is a Japanese folkloric yokai, which originates from Kagoshima Prefecture. So it's kind of cute. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my food and drinks, I noticed that this wall in front of me has eyes. See, over there. Um, this is the nurikabe. And it's also a Japanese folkloric yokai monster. And apparently the story goes in Japanese folklore that these wall-looking yokais would appear in the middle of a path and they would basically misdirect travelers and make them lose their way. And he is blocking the way outside, so he's doing his job. Oh, すごい! <gasps> Kawaii! I'm also blown away by this latte art. The Sunday. Look, it's got a jiggly itam moment. This is so adorable. But first, I'm gonna take a sip of the Neko Musume Sunday. Let's give it a taste. Oh, it tastes like my childhood, actually. <laughs> it's strawberry milk, and that is a very popular children's drink in Japan. It's kind of like a milkshake without the shake part. Next, let's try the Itan Momen Yokai Sunday. This might be weird for some people abroad, but Japanese parfaits always have cornflakes in them. And it, it's really good because it gives this crunch. Mmm, 
how good gets a creamy, soft serve vanilla ice cream. And the cornflakes are just plain unsugared cornflakes, but they really add this like wonderful crunch. And the red bean paste is another great addition. It gives it kind of a, yeah, traditional Japanese dessert flavor. So the Itan Momen character is acted out by Kanten. And it's just this wonderful kind of gelatin-like Japanese food that's made out of seaweed. It's jiggling. I don't even know if it'll stay on the spoon. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I personally really like it. If you never had it before, you'll be surprised. But this doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> it's mostly about the texture. You have to try it to, to know. If you know, you know. <laughs> Gonna have a sip of my Chitaro Latte. Mmm, that's actually a really good coffee. It's nice and creamy and frothy on the top. The coffee is really rich. All in all, I am very pleasantly surprised by what they offer here. Food quality is fantastic. Um, the coffee is really good. And you get a uh, all the retro feels that you could ever want in this place. So anyway, I'm gonna finish this off because I have a lot to eat, and then I might go check out the museum upstairs. See you there. This is Shigeru Mizuki-san. He's the author of Gege no Kitaro. Hi. <laughs> wow, and you can see lots of pictures of him with his, with his yokai characters. So many different yokais. That's cute. They've ripped the shoji paper windows. It's very old Japanese house, kind of yokai-y. I feel like a yokai. Wow, that's so cool. You can see monsters, yokais in there. It's a kappa. What a wonderful cafe this was. I was really pleasantly surprised. It's not just a theme cafe. The food is legitimately really good. I really enjoyed my day here in Chofu. I hope you guys enjoyed following along with me. And I'm really curious, how many of you guys know the manga Gegege no Kitaro? If you know it, let me know down in the comments down below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give us a like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe, because some of you guys don't. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye!